She is known for her extensive career in stage, film, and television, with over 100 major movie appearances spanning 50 years. She is recognized for her memorable performance as the matriarch of the Jode family in the film adaptation of The Grapes of Wrath, for which she won an Academy Award. Her name is Jane Darwell. In the world of American entertainment, one name stands out as a true powerhouse, Jane Darwell, an actress who left an indelible mark on stage, film, and television. With a career that spanned over five decades, Darwell's talent and versatility made her a beloved figure in the industry. But it was her unforgettable portrayal of the resilient matriarch in the film adaptation of John Steinbeck's The Grapes of Wrath that truly solidified her place in history. Born in Palmyra, Missouri, Jane Darwell's early life was a testament to her strong will and determination. She embarked on her acting journey and quickly rose to prominence with appearances in over 100 major movies. However, it was her role as Ma Jode in The Grapes of Wrath that catapulted her into the hearts of audiences worldwide. Her moving performance not only earned her critical acclaim but also the ultimate recognition, an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Darwell's impact on the entertainment industry cannot be overstated. Her ability to bring characters to life with depth and emotion left an indelible mark on audiences. Her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is a testament to her enduring legacy. Even today, her portrayal of Ma Jode continues to inspire and resonate with viewers, reminding us of the strength and resilience of the human spirit. Jane Darwell's career milestones and achievements are a testament to her talent and dedication. Her impact and legacy continue to be felt in the world of entertainment, as her performances serve as a constant reminder of the power of storytelling and the lasting impact it can have on society. From her humble beginnings to her unforgettable portrayal in The Grapes of Wrath, Jane Darwell's journey is a true testament to the transformative power of acting and the enduring legacy of a remarkable artist. Jane Darwell, a versatile actress known for her strong character portrayals, had a remarkable career in both film and theater. After studying voice culture and the piano, she initially considered becoming a nun before ultimately choosing to pursue acting. She began her journey in theater productions in Chicago and made her first film appearance in 1913. Over the next few years, she appeared in nearly 20 films before focusing on her stage career. However, after a 15-year hiatus from the silver screen, Darwell returned to film with a bang. Her breakthrough role came in the film Tom Sawyer, marking the start of her successful Hollywood career as a character actress. Despite her unconventional appearance, being short, stout, and plain, she was quickly recognized for her exceptional talent and was frequently cast as the mother of the main characters. She also had the privilege of working in five Shirley Temple films, often playing the roles of the housekeeper or grandmother. Darwell's talent and dedication were duly recognized when she won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her portrayal of Ma Jode in The Grapes of Wrath. This role was specifically given to her at the insistence of Henry Fonda, the film's star. As a contract player with 20th Century Fox, she continued to leave a lasting impression with her performances in films such as The Oxbow Incident and as a featured player in various major films. Not limited to the silver screen, Darwell also made notable appearances on stage. In 1944, she gained popularity for her role in the stage comedy Suds in Your Eye, where she portrayed an Irish woman who inherited a junkyard. By the end of her career, she had amassed an impressive filmography of over 170 films, including classics like Gone with the Wind, The Devil and Daniel Webster, and My Darling Clementine. Even in her later years, Darwell continued to make guest appearances on television. She appeared on shows such as Faye Emerson's Wonderful Town and The Pepsi-Cola Playhouse, leaving a lasting impact with her performances. In 1961, she portrayed Grandmother McCoy in an episode of the sitcom The Real McCoys, showcasing her versatility and ability to adapt to different roles. In recognition of her contributions to the motion picture industry, Jane Darwell received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960. This honor solidified her status as a respected and celebrated actress. In her later years, she semi-retired from acting and moved into the motion picture country home due to her advanced age and frailty. However, she made one final appearance on the big screen when she accepted the role of the Bird Woman in Mary Poppins, after Walt Disney personally pleaded with her. This poignant scene, accompanied by the beautiful song, Feed the Birds, became her last acting role, leaving an enduring legacy in the hearts of audiences. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.